Welcome again to class, Peter. <laughs> All right. Did you already eat your dinner? Not yeah, yet? Uh, yeah. Oh, wow. Good Hi. for you. <laughs> okay. I usually open prime teaching slots. So that's usually at night. So I get to eat really late at night. That's why I become fat. Because I eat a lot at night. I get so hungry <laughs> after the lessons. Okay. Now. Yeah. Our lesson, our next lesson is about Unit 9 events. Topic 6, Lesson 1, a new and exciting thing. What could that be? Okay. Is there anything that's new and exciting about you lately? What did you do lately apart from your clinical research? Mm, a new and exciting uh... Did you go out with your peers or maybe your girlfriend? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yes, I, I, I spent some um, time with your family. Okay. Yes, good memories with my yes, wife. Yes, very your... good. Oh, you already have a wife. That's wonderful. It's yeah. always nice to spend time with your family. Okay, very good. Thank you so much for sharing that new and exciting thing you did. Okay, Peter, thank you so much. Now, again, our overall learning objective for this lesson is for you to become fluent, coherent, and to expand or widen your vocabulary and improve your grammar and pronunciation of some of the words, okay, that we are going to discuss tonight. Now, our sub-learning objectives are pronunciation focused on the sounds e eh and a, e, okay? E and a. E. Yes, okay, this is a eh and this is a. Okay, we're going to try to ad identify some words that is read or has the same pronunciations as a and as a eh and a. Okay, now uh, what are the words with sound a? Eh? Okay, let's read cat, cat, fat, fat, mat. Might. Very good. How about for A, we have cake. Cake. Fate. Fate. Mate. Mate. Okay. Like for your clinical research, you have your teammate. Okay. What else? Can you tell teachers some other words with the sounds of E and A? Efforts. Give me at least one for each. Hmm. C classmates. Classmates. Okay, that's for A. Very good. How about for E? Mm, dad. I'm sorry, what is it again? Dad. Dad. Very good. It's dad. Good job. Okay, let's go to the next page. Now, here are some keywords and key sentences that we are going to discuss, okay? I want you to read and learn of the following keywords and sentences for IELTS. All right, let's read each of them, number one. Uh, an anniversary. Okay, what's the example sentence? Please read. People in my country generally give parents to others uh, birthday, festival days, or uh, anniversaries. Okay, so anniversaries. Anniversary. What does that mean? Okay, I'm sure you and your wife has your anniversary, right? Do you celebrate your anniversary, Peter? Sometimes. Yes. Sometimes, why? Are you always busy at work? You need to celebrate yeah. it. You need to be thankful for your years of being together, okay? Yes. Okay, that's a reminder for you, all right? Now, anniversary, what does that mean? Uh, some special day. Uh, okay. Maybe very important for us. Okay, it's a special day, maybe for you or someone else, okay? It's actually a recurring date 
which is, which is annual, okay, you celebrate it yearly. That's an anniversary. Let's say, for example, an event, okay, like your wedding day. You have your wedding anniversary, which you celebrate. Okay, very good. Now, let's read the next word is? A close friend. I really enjoy buying gifts for people, especially my close friends and the family members. So what does close friends mean? Close friends. Okay. Do you have close friends? Yeah, of course. Very good. So it's always nice to have close friends. Okay. It's very important to have close friends. So they are the ones that are what? Mm, very familiar. Oh. Um, very good. Okay, those are the people that are very good to us because they are very close to us. They seem like our family too. Even though the, you are not blood related with this set of friends, but because you are very close, they become your family. Very good job. So that's a close friend. Now, how about way? Okay, please read. Uh, yeah. There are many ways of solving the problem. Okay, there are many ways of solving solving the problem. What is ways? What does that mean? Mm, solution. Okay, ways or a course of action that you take to solve a particular problem. Like in your clinical research, the one that you told me earlier, okay? I'm sure you have many ways of solving the best way how to cure a cancer patient having trouble with their prostate, okay? Those prostate cancer patients, very good. Now, how about perfume? Uh, he bought his wife a bottle of uh, perfume as her birthday present. Okay, did you ever give your wife perfume for her birthday? Yes? Yes. Okay, that's wonderful. I would like to receive the same gift from my husband, but he's not buying me any. <laughs> All right, I'll go tell him to buy me one. All right, what does perfume mean? Uh, perfume. Okay, it's a scented liquid, okay? That is very good to wear okay especially on special days okay for you to become very good smelling okay when you go out on a date with your wife you usually spray or wear perfume right okay <laughs> thank you so much how about the word acquire please read uh, we must work hard to acquire knowledge of english okay we must work hard to acquire knowledge of english I'm sure you're doing a great job. You know why? Because despite of your busy schedule at work, because of, of your clinical research, you still chose to have a lesson with teacher and learn English. So I guess that you are really working hard to acquire knowledge of English. Very good of you. Now, acquire means to get or to have. All right? Good job, okay? I am going to give you... A yay emoji for trying to answer teacher with her questions. And yum, an ice cream. This is for you. Ice cream is not only for kids. You can have it too. <laughs> Take a break. <laughs> have an ice cream. <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay. You're welcome. Let's go to the next page. Now, the next word is? Uh, safety, uh, safety tips. Uh, Carolan, Carolan gives us some safety tips about her uh, skin. Very good. Now let's repeat the name of the girl, Caroline. Caroline. Okay, Caroline gave us some safety tips about skiing. So what is safety tips? What's that? Uh, safety tips. Uh, um, some, some, some reminder. Uh, yes. 
that we we should avoid to do something. Okay, those are reminders for us to be safe. Okay, the safety yeah. tips about skiing are the things that you need to what to do. Okay, to become safe when you ski. All right. How about this word? Slide. Uh, slide down. I, I I really liked the feeling when I was slide, sliding down the mountain. It was like flying. All right. Let's read again. Really. 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 Okay. This is pronounced as. As. Really. Really. Okay, E, E, really. Okay, I really liked the feeling when I was sliding down the mountain. It was like flying. Have you ever slid down a mountain? Mm. Yes. Have you ever tried sliding down a mountain? Not yet? No. <laughs> Me too, not yet. Okay. Maybe when you go skiing, you can slide down a mountain. Have you ever tried skiing? Not yet? Not yet. Okay. Well, you should try it. I guess there's snow there. In my country, there's no snow. So even if I want to ski, I cannot. <laughs> All right. <laughs> now, the next word is adventurous. Please read. Adventurous. Uh, joy is an adventurous man I'm afraid of risk. Okay. What does adventurous mean? Mm, uh, addicted for uh, addicted to try different uh, things. Uh, okay. Go go the uh, different uh, area. All right, an adventurous man likes to try out many different things. Okay, he loves adventure. Sometimes they are called daredevils. Because even the impossible, they want to try. Okay, they sometimes are afraid of risks. They are unafraid of risks, I mean, okay? They are okay. not afraid to try many different things. Now, are you an, an adventurous man, Peter? Yes or no? No. No, okay, you're on the conservative side, okay? You always want to do things that are not risky. Well, sometimes that's also good, okay? But sometimes we need to take risks. Okay, like what you're doing. I guess you're also adventurous in some ways, okay, like your clinical research, okay? That's why you're trying to find out new things, okay? You're trying to search for a better way to cure prostate cancer patients. That's being adventurous, but in a different kind of way, a more conservative way, okay? Not the daring kind, all right? How about the next word? Sign up. I sign up for evening class uh, classes at the local college. Okay, what does sign up mean? Uh, attend. Okay, I've signed up for evening classes at the local college. Okay, you signed up or you attended for evening classes. Okay, you enrolled for evening classes. Like in this class, you've signed up for teacher's floor lace class. Thank you so much for that, Peter. <laughs> all right, how about the next word? Uh, overcome, eventually he managed to overcome his uh, shyness in class. Okay, to overcome means what? Mm. Uh, okay. Conquer. Okay, he eventually, eventually he managed to overcome his shyness in, in class to conquer. That's very good. Two thumbs up for a job well done. I'm going to give you a taco. This okay. taco is for you. <laughs> Great okay. job. Very good. All right. Thank you so much. To overcome means to conquer or to get over. Okay. You need to conquer your shyness in class, okay? When you present your clinical research soon, okay, to your audience, you need to overcome your shyness. You need to be confident, okay? Very good. Now, let's do this. IELTS speaking part one.
Okay, let's read and remember the answers for each question. Okay, let's read. Mm, when do people give gifts uh, or presents in our in your country? Uh, quite like people in other cultures, uh, people in my country often give presentation uh, present present to others on birthdays, festival days, or anniversary. Anniversaries. Okay. Anniversaries. Okay. Very good. Now, again, when do people give gifts or presents? Okay, they usually give it during birthdays, festival days, or anniversaries. So festival days like Christmas, okay, New Year, maybe, okay. Also birthdays, okay, we give gifts to our friends and family members and anniversaries too, like what you said earlier, you gave your wife an anniversary gift and it's a perfume. I'm sure that perfume really smells good. Okay, how often do you give present to your wife? How often? Mm, yeah, all depends. Okay, it depends. But most of the time, you give her presents, of course, during birthdays, Christmas, and anniversary, right? Yeah. Okay, very good. So again, what is anniversary? It is an occurring event or date that you celebrate, okay? It happens every year. All right, let's read the next question and the answer to it. Uh, do you enjoy looking for gifts for others? Why or why not? I really enjoy looking for gifts for people, especially my close friends and uh, family members. In my opinion, giving gifts to others is a way to show my love. Okay, do you agree with that? Okay. okay. Okay, very good. So you give gifts, okay, to show or to express your love to your close friends and family members, okay? Again, what does close friends mean? Mm, very good friends. Okay, good friends that are like family. And how about way? Mm. What does way mean? Uh, way is uh, way is uh, mm, matter. Okay, it is a course of action that you do. Okay, like in this, to show your love, what you do is you give gifts. Okay, to your close friends and loved ones. All right. Now, how about the next sentence? Let's uh, read. Mm, yeah. When when did you last receive a gift? What was it? Uh, it was three months ago. My uh, my boyfriend gave me a bottle of perfume on my birthday. Okay. So how about you, Peter? When was the last time that you received a gift? Uh, it a gift uh, several months ago for the Spring Festival. Okay, you received a gift during the Spring Festival, and what was the gift? Mm, a book. A book. Okay, so you love reading books. Yes. Okay, what kind of book is that? Is that a novel or also for your clinical research? <laughs> <laughs> uh, not for work. Uh, yeah, for uh. female people. So. Okay, very good. I like reading books too. Good job. Okay, of course, reading books are very good because it helps us widen our vocabulary. Okay, we'll learn a lot of new words from there. Okay, and we get to practice pronouncing English words. Very good job. Okay, so it will be best if you read lots of English books, okay, not just Chinese books, okay? So you can get comfortable with the English language. Now, perfume. Again, what is perfume? Mm. It is a scented liquid, okay? Scented liquid that helps you smelled good okay very good job thank you so much for trying your best to answer teacher a pizza for you it's a pepperoni pizza great job
<laughs> wow, okay. those are really great rewards for you. All right. Now imagine that you are a candidate in the IELTS test. Now, I will be your examiner. Please answer the questions below with what, with what you have learned to develop, okay? okay? Let's try to read number one, okay? I want you to answer directly and give me reasons, okay? Number one, Peter, when do people give gifts or presents in your country? Uh, normally, uh, people will give gifts uh, or presents to others uh, for the uh, festival, uh, uh, for the birthday and uh, uh, anniversaries. Uh. Okay, thank you so much. So you give gifts or presents in your country during festivals, birthdays, and anniversaries. Very good job. Now, do you enjoy looking for gifts for others? Okay. Uh, do you enjoy yeah. looking for gifts? Yeah, yes, I like to looking for a gift for others because it uh, uh, present my, my love for others. Okay, very good. So you like to look for gifts. You love shopping? Yes. Wow, that's great. Me, I would like to shop, but I don't have enough cash. <laughs> okay, as much as I want to shop, okay, my husband is always there trying to stop me. I don't know what's wrong with him. Okay, very good. So you give gifts to others, to your close friends, and to your family members during special occasions because that is a way for you to show that you love them. Very good job. Now, how about number three? When did you last receive a gift? What was it? Uh, yes, I, 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 I received... Uh... I received a key, uh, I received the, uh, the last, uh, the, the latest uh, gift I received is uh, a book during the spring festival. My, my wife uh, buy it for me. Wow, did you say thank you to your wife? Yeah. How about you? What did you give her for the spring festival? Mm, I, I, I bring all the two, uh, family member to the restaurant. Wow, so you took her out and you ate at a restaurant. That's very sweet, that's great to know. All right, very good job. You were able to answer me directly and you were able to give me reasons for your answers. That was awesome. All right, and because of that, I am gonna give you another reward, Karan. Wow, huh? such a large turkey. This is for you. <laughs> Good job. All right, let's go to the next page. Now, here are the keywords and key sentences that we've discussed for tonight. Now, let's try to review all of them. Let's read them one by one. Keywords first. Okay. Uh, anniversary, close friend, we, per perfume. Okay, so those are the keywords that you've learned. Okay, can you give me sentences? Okay, let's uh, make sentences out of each word. Number one, anniversary. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, no need to, to read the sentence. That's just the middle uh, of uh, my sentence. Right? Okay. Uh, uh, Every uh, anniversary uh, for the wedding, uh, I, I will uh, prepare some gifts for my wife. Okay, every wedding anniversary of ours, I prepare a gift for my wife. Thank you so much. How about close friend? Uh, I, I have... I have uh, some close friends, and uh, uh, if we have time, we will spend time together. And uh, uh, since the childhood, uh, I think uh, it's very important for me for the friendship. 
Okay, so you have very close friends that you spend your time with, okay? You go out with them whenever you have time. That's very good to know. Next, we have Wei. Uh, uh, there are different ways to solve the problem. Okay, there are many different ways to solve the problem. Very good. How about perfume? Uh, perfume, mm, uh, many, uh, many young women or girls like, uh, perform especially, uh, uh, given by their boyfriends, boyfriends or husbands. Okay, so girls, okay, women, okay, in particular, like to get perfume gifts from their loved ones, like their boyfriends or their husband. Let's repeat perfume. Perfume. Uh, okay, let's read perfume. Perfume. Very good. Now let's read the key sentences. Okay. Uh, quite like people in other cultures, people in my country often give presents to others on birthdays, festival days, or anniversaries. I really enjoy looking for gifts for people, especially my close friends and family members. In my opinion, giving gifts to others is a way to show my love to them. About three months ago, my boyfriend gave me a bottle of perfume uh, on my birthday. Very good child. Thank you so much. Again, anniversary is an occurring event where you give gifts, okay? Okay, that's the event that you celebrate yearly. Close friends are those friends of yours that are very close to you, that they become your family. Way is a course of action of doing things, and perfume is a scented liquid that you wear, okay, on special days. Very good job for tonight, Peter. I am so happy and proud of your performance. For your final reward, I'm gonna give you Charan, a tuna sandwich. Go have some snacks before you go to bed. I'll see you again soon. Please take care and review very well so that you will recall everything that we've discussed for tonight. I'll see you again soon. Please take care and have a good night. Bye.